Hey Gemini, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your October um, love and sex messages. So this is going to be a disclaimer. Um, there's going to be a lot of cussing, a lot of profanity. There's going to be, well, that's the same shit, a lot of sexual talk. So yeah, I don't want to hear anybody complaining about that I have a filthy mouth when I'm literally telling you it's about love and sex. So that's what it is. What else am I going to say? <laughs> Sorry, my Google was like <clears throat> trying to play something for me and then she's talking back to me while I was doing the introduction. So if you heard something, that was just my Google. All right, let's see what's going on with my... Okay, my Gemini's. Okay, so far we're going to start with the love, okay? We have um, turn on your heart love. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experienced love. Do you remember when you felt, when was the last time you felt love? When was the last time that you felt that tender touch, that you felt appreciated, that you felt that you had it all emotionally, that you were fulfilled? When was the last time you felt that way? Have you been blocking that? Have you been pushing it away? It's asking you to turn on your heart light. <clears throat> turn it on. Let people know that you're willing to allow love to come into your life. If not, you're going to keep blocking it and then wondering why you're alone or wondering why certain things are not happening. Then we have a slow, a show simple acts of kindness. A simple act of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you. What are you doing to help other people? What are you doing to, let's say if you're in a relationship, are you sending them a good morning text? Are you being nice? You know, just little simple acts of kindness. Do you want to go out for coffee? It's on me. Um, hold on, let me fix this really quick. <clears throat> How are you doing? How's your day going? Making it nice and, you know, fun for, for them. Showing you appreciate, you know, little, it's the little things in life that people really appreciate. So then we have, um, be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. What are you trying to manifest? Okay. Uh, do you find yourself daydreaming about certain scenarios happening? Love, whether you're sleeping with someone or whether you want that person, it's kind of like, be in the now, but don't be afraid to dream of the future, like the possibilities, because you can co-create that. You can make it happen. And when the time comes, don't be closed off or don't be annoyed when it happens because you, you called that in with your mind. We have have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. So let's say you're going through some ups and downs in your relationship. Have faith that it's only because it's going to lead you up. It's only to help you extend to another level, okay, in your relationship. And if you're single and you're wondering why, you know, you're going through what you're going through, it's just telling you to have faith. You're just going through a certain phase right now. Um, allow yourself to be free. Enjoy your freedom, okay? Have faith that, you know, love will come your way, that the right one will come your way, whether you're male or female. And just take it day by day. Uh, we have forgiveness. Nothing can be gained by holding on to past disappointments. When you still hold on to grudges or what someone said to you or how people were towards you and how they made a huge impact or influence in your love life and that's why you are the way you are, this is allowing them to win, allowing them to have dominion over you uh, because you're still holding on to the grudges. You're not allowing for the new to come in. And you just could be attracting people like them because you're still holding on to it. When you release it, you attract something better, something more fulfilling, something more loving. So if you are holding on to grudges and everything like that, that's exactly what you're going to be getting because you're holding on to it. You know what I mean? So you got to let it go. Forgive yourself. If it was your fault, forgive them for what they did and move on. Free yourself from it. Then we have love makes the difference. Love can help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security. Self-worth is um, self-worth and importance. So 
so love makes a difference, right? Let me let me reread that. Love can help heal past hurts, speaking of forgiveness, and provides a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. You see, when you forgive, let go of grudges, okay, and you allow the love to take over. It's all about how you how you see things, how you view things, how you react toward things. Your choices as well has a huge impact on your love life and whatever it is that you're trying to manifest uh, in your love life. So, um, sorry, I'm like trying to get my light. <clears throat> it makes a difference when you when you let go of that. You forgive. Maybe this next person that's going to come in is going to help heal those wounds and you're going to be able to let go of it. To finally be free from it. Because right now, if you're holding on to it, think about it this way. You are its little bitch. Do you want it to be your little bitch? No. You, do you want you to be its little bitch? No. Just, I always think of it that way. Hell no. I ain't trying to be its little bitch. I'm letting it go. I'm moving on. So, you just, when you love more, you be more kind to yourself. Think about, do you really want to do that to yourself? How much do you love you? Okay? So, those are the things you, you got to think about. Let's get some cards from the fortune telling <clears throat> for my Gemini. I'm doing the love part first and then we'll do the sex. Okay, so we have <clears throat> we have fool have the courage to embrace change take risks be adventurous this is a clean slate starting over getting out there dating not afraid to to find love or feel loved you know have the courage to embrace the change this is like this is like if you've been in a relationship for a while and you're now free okay and you're ready to go out there take risks be happy go on adventures go go traveling do whatever you need to do to to feel brand new you know some of you have been doing that going places doing things getting your mind off of whatever the fuck that you went through then we have unity a time of divine understanding renewal peace and hope you radiate and attract great love the divine understanding Understanding why certain things play out, why things happen, okay? You will be united with someone that that will be good for you, that would be a perfect match for you. Someone who will put up with your bullshit, someone who will put up with your craziness, your wild ways. You will meet your match, trust me. And you're going to be like, wow, you're going to be shooketh. You're going to be wondering, oh my God, all this time I was prepared. They were preparing me for this moment. Then we have Dragonfly. Have confidence uh, during this time of great joy, renewal, and connection to spirit. Have confidence. Certain things happen so that you can get closer to spirit. If you've been ignoring that, guess what? They're going to keep putting shit, bullshit in your path so that you can wake up and be like, we're trying to get your attention. We want to talk to you. Be open to that. Notice all the signs. Look them up. What do they mean? Okay, I surrender spirit. What is it that you're trying to tell me? I allow you to speak to me. I allow you to, to work through me. I allow you to open the doors in the past so that I can find my happiness and love. Then we have moon. Pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. Your intuition is screaming at you. If it's telling you it's time to move on and get out of that nasty relationship, listen to it. With the fool, don't be afraid to take risk. Spirit has your back. You just got to be open to that. Okay? If it's telling you, yes, this person is the one, my gut is telling me, take action. Okay? It, it depends on how you take it. What your intuition is telling you. Then we have the wish card. It says, your heart's desires are ready to come true. What have you been wishing and manifesting? Okay, it's ready for you. All you have to do is be willing to accept it. Be open to it. Then we have a mountain. Know that you are protected as you face challenges, but remain cautious. 
Yes, you could be facing challenges in your relationship or with your future partners or whoever you're facing, whether they ghosted you, whether they, you guys are separate or taking time apart. You're protected, okay? These are challenges to keep you grounded, to keep you alert, cautious, to keep your eyes open, to teach you lessons, and to grow. So embrace these changes. Embrace them. But you are protected. Whether you are in a bad relationship and you're ready to, to take the leap of faith and move on and move out because your your intuition is telling you so and you're afraid or maybe there's fear. The spirit is telling you, don't worry. You're protected. Allow them to, to lead the way. Okay? So I'm going to pull some cards from the Romance Angels. Shit. This one wants to come out. <laughs> wow. You deserve love. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You deserve love. Okay? Someone could have their eye on you. You are their next target or you could have your target set on somebody else. And you're like, you know what? I'm going for it because I deserve love. I don't care what people say or think. This is what I want. I want what I want. And that's that. And you deserve it. You've been through so much. Some of you have been through the worst. And now it's time for you to experience the best. Then we have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And that goes on top of the unity card. So some of you will be getting together with a lover, okay? Or if you have already been in a relationship, you guys are going on a honeymoon or spending some really good time together with nobody around, no kids, um, no parents, no family, no friends, no nothing, just you two, just the two of you spending some quality time. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Look at that. If you've been feeling impatient because you can't find the right one, I'm, I'm telling you, it's worth waiting for. You go through all that shit to meet the right one, to appreciate the right one, so that you don't fuck it up with the right one. So that's why spirit throws karmics at you to learn your lesson, to grow, move on, and embrace the, the one that's meant for you. You always got to have faith and trust. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the step, steps you're guided to take. And that goes on top of the moon card. If your intuition is telling you to come forward and, and tell that person how you feel, do it. It's worth it. And um, below that is, is have faith. Have faith. What is your intuition telling you? Make the effort. Okay. Let's get two more. Heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Oh, yeah. What is your wish? Your heart's desires soon to come true. Okay, that's your wish. Tell that person how you feel. Do you want to mend a relationship? Do you want to get back together with that lover that you had hard times with and now you feel like it's time to restore it? Or do you feel like you want to move on. You're not happy in your relationship. And you're like, we need to talk. I'm not happy. I, I want us to, to move on. Or you could also make the effort of making it work. It depends on your situation. Okay, take it as it resonates with you. Okay, then we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And I, I feel like a lot of my Geminis have been doing that. You've been doing you, going out, partying, having fun, uh, feeling good, looking good, working on your self-esteem, your appearance, just going out there and just having fun, being free. And when you do that, people look at you as, damn, she, she's bringing on good vibration. She's happy. She's a go-getter. I want that. You attract it by enjoying the moment fully, being in the now. So, okay, let's move on to the sex. Yay, the sex. What's, uh, what's going on with my Geminis and sex? Come on, come on. Probably lots and lots of sex is what I'm hearing. Nine of water reversed. This is the nine of cups reversed. So with this, this is for the ones that are having a hard time and their relationship. You're not happy. Okay. Someone's not happy sexually 
or maybe you haven't gotten any in a long time and you're like, I am not happy. I need to have sex. I haven't had sex in a while. I'm going crazy. I'm going nuts. And if that could be for my singles or whatever, even if you're a relationship and you guys don't have time to get it on, this is you being, you know, sexually deprived. You need to have that release. So I feel like a lot of you need to are constantly trying to get that release. And that's why you could be a little grouchy, you know. Then we have uh, the Eight of Earth which is the Eight of Pentacles, and the sexual deck here, the Eight of Earth, it's kind of like you are, this could represent someone who, a single person, okay, let's say you're single, uh, this is you like self-pleasuring, this is you enjoying yourself, okay, you don't need nobody, you feel like you don't need no one, you're happy the way things are, yeah, you want love in your life, but at the same time, you know how to pleasure yourself, you know how to keep yourself busy. You know how to pleasure yourself. Keep yourself going, if you know what I mean. Someone who, who's like that. Who uses toys as well to self-pleasure. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying. <clears throat> we have the Knight of Water. Ooh. Someone is coming in. The Knight in Shining Armor. Okay. Because this is on top of the Honeymoon. And the and the the night of water it could have represent someone saying that they want to go out on a date with you to spend some quality time. Someone's coming in to save the day, or if you've been bored, or if you've been really sad, someone's gonna come in and be like, "Oh my God, how how you're too beautiful to be crying, or you're too handsome to be like this." Let's go out, and from there it's just like, "Wow, you guys hit it off or something." And this could literally mean that finally someone good and someone new. Someone attractive and good looking, good in bed, makes you feel good in bed, is going to come towards you. Someone can get you really wet too because he's, he's inside of water. <laughs> Whether you're male or female, you know what I mean. <clears throat> we have the Four of Earth, which is the Four of Pentacles. Oof, someone is holding really tight. Okay. Someone is holding on real tight to their ways okay it's kind of like i am who i am and i'm not i don't care who sees it someone who's out there and doesn't you're not afraid to show who you are whether you're out there and being promiscuous a lot of people see you as someone out there very promiscuous and i feel like you don't give a fuck because that's who you are gemini some of you not all of you it depends on what you have in your chart and it's kind of like you're like you know what i'm holding on to my ways because i am who i am and that's that if you don't like it, whatever. The right one will come to me. Like I said, you will meet your match. Um, King of Water. You see that? You have someone loving coming in. I feel like you need that. You need someone loving coming in. Because it's on top of the heart-to-heart -heart conversation. This person has a way of... This person is going to have a way of talking to you. Man, I see a lot of water. So it could be water sign, Cancer Scorpio, Pisces, or a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. I mean, any other sign, but those are the ones that pop out to me. They could be in their chart, too. So this person has a way of speaking to you, has a way of calming you the fuck down because you're wild, has a way of has a way with their words, kind of like they touch you with their words, whatever. This could be them, you know, sexually sweet talking you or getting you excited by their words, telling you what they're going to do to you once they get you in bed. And wow. This is someone who knows how to get you going with just their words. Someone very loving, too, with a good heart. <clears throat> we have the Nine of Fire, and it came out reversed. Okay, this is the Nine of Wands. So someone is, <laughs> you realize that you've been a little possessive. I feel like you don't like people who are possessive. You try to push them away. So I feel like you could be letting go of somebody who's a little possessive because once you have sex with someone, it's kind of like they get addicted to you or they love that about you and you get turned off with that. You don't like people to be too clingy on you. It's like if you want them for sex, that's it. And if they start to want to talk to you, you get turned off and you ignore them. You, you don't like that. <laughs> You're like, that's all I want you for. Especially if it's just, you know, to have fun or a one night stand shit okay let's get some more cards here oh my gosh 
<clears throat> Gemini. Yeah, also with the Four of Earth, I feel like you've been putting yourself out there, you know, making yourself look good, feel good, because you want... I feel like a lot of people like you for your wildness. It's just in your nature to be wild. Because when you just, you know, hold yourself back from being your true nature, it's kind of like tying down a wild animal. It's not going to work. Their spirit's going to die. You're going to be depressed. So it's kind of like once you're wild and free, that's your, that's you. That's your forte. That's what you do. People will appreciate you more for being you. All right. We have the, what is this? The King of Wands reverse. So I feel like some of you could be dealing with someone who's who's very like, oh, once I get you in bed, I'm going to be like this and like that. And once you get with them, it's like, want, want, want. They have a small one. It was all talk and no action is what I'm seeing here. All talk and no action. Oh, shit. This one's the only one that flipped over. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords. Okay, the eight, they probably feel like, you probably feel like you can't get out of it. Like I said, that heart to heart where you feel like, okay, I'm not happy. This, this relationship is stressful. We need to talk about this. I'm not happy sexually. Some of you could be, you know, stressing the fact that you have to have sex with that person that you no longer into anymore and it's stressing you the fuck out you feel stuck or you feel like you can't get out of it don't put yourself through that you know trauma don't put yourself through that bullshit free yourself from that you're you're, no, you're never really stuck you can it's all about in your mind it's all about your actions we have the hanged woman okay this is someone, yeah, this is literally someone speaking about feeling stuck. This is someone feeling stuck in a relationship. And it's like, like I said, you can't tie down a, a wild animal. If you're in a relationship and you're stressed out because you're like, I need to get out of this. This is not who I am. Or this person doesn't belong with me and you're stressed the fuck out. This is time for you to let it go. Okay? Time to let it go. Have that heart to heart. And also, this could also mean, another scenario here, this could also mean that with the hanged woman, it means that you had your, your fun and your period of being promiscuous and being out there. And now you just want to settle down. You want to pause that. You want to take a break. You want to find love. You just want to settle down and, you know, have calmer, calmer waters, too. Uh, we have the Queen of Swords. She came out reversed. Okay, this is someone speaking nasty and dirty in bed. Someone who likes to, you know, say some nasty stuff in bed. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Someone who likes to get it on, you know. Just say dirty things. They like how how you are, Gemini, in bed. Like, you're someone who, who likes to speak dirty shit. Or this could also represent you, who is the type that does not like to, to moan or anything. You're the type that doesn't moan out loud. Mentally, you just like to suck it all in in silence and not hear people talk. It's kind of like, shut up, don't talk. Let me just enjoy it. <laughs> the lovers, look what came out. This is your sign, boo. So notice how there's two couples, okay? And then there's a person peeping, a peeping Tom, all right? There's always a fucking peeping Tom. Um, you could be dating, sleeping around, and maybe that stalker or that ex is still watching you. They're still looking through your windows. They're still watching you, wondering who you're with. Okay? Be careful because you could have a, a stalker that's obsessed with you. They could be on social media. could actually be stalking you at your house to see who you're with. They actually probably know that there's people that's in your house or you're sleeping around. But I'm telling you that just be careful with this person. Because they are obsessed with you. <laughs> it's an obsession. This could also represent you doing that to other people. We have the Eight of Cups. Yeah. See, I feel like you walked away from someone, a lover, and they got hooked. They got obsessed. Okay? Like I said, Gemini, you have the, the potential. You have that in you 
where you sleep with someone and they suddenly become addicted to you or obsessed and they're, they're spying and shit and you had to walk away or, or you had to ghost them or something like that. Someone could have ghosted you and you're spying or they did that, you did that to them and now they're spying on you. So just be very careful. Let's get a few more for Gemini or one more. This could also represent you letting go of your promiscuous ways so that you could settle down with that one person. Or this, you know, loving uh, king of water is going to come in and, and it's going to really get you to change how you are. And you're going to turn you're, turn away from your um, being out there and dating type of shit. It could be, you know, whatever. Take it as it is. We have the Knight of Cups. This is you enjoying your sex life, okay? You are in for a hell of a ride is what I like to say when I see these. <laughs> Someone coming in, knocks you off your feet, good in bed, good heart. And it's like you're just going with it. You're flowing with it. You're taking it, okay? You're, you're taking it, you know what I mean? But it's kind of like... <laughs> Notice how there's a snake around the cup, okay? Be careful because this person could just be using you and you don't know that. Or you could be using somebody and just the way you are and they don't see that. They just see you having fun. So be very careful. Okay, so I feel like you will be, be you know, happy riding the horse, riding the waves. This is you having fun in your sex life, enjoying your sex life, going out there dating. But be careful who you share your cup with because not all cups are, are clean. Be careful. Just be or protect protection okay just because they're they're good looking and stuff like that doesn't mean they don't have nothing just be careful what you know cup you touch because not all of them are clean some of them are poisonous you don't want to catch anything so be very careful when you're doing that especially if you're sleeping around okay so let's pull a card from the lover's oracle really quick so we can wrap this up shit When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. So yeah, you're going out there, you're dating, you're making memories, having different lovers, whatever it is. It's because you're wild. That's what you do. I feel like you're the type of person who likes to make memories. Because you know one day you're going to grow old and you're going to look back and be like, I had my fun. You know, I can die happy. <laughs> Just be careful how you are, who you you don't want to hurt anybody <clears throat> because you don't want them to pass. You don't want to pass on and you're like, oh, this person was a bitch or whatever. It's just like, have good memories. Then we have healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. Some of you are healing your relationship. Okay? You've been through it all. The stormy weathers and you will be healing it. You could... You could heal it with your own mind, with your thoughts, okay? If you don't want to heal it and you want to move on, that's fine. But you got to heal yourself from that. Let it go and move on. Ooh, romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. Papal. Oh, yeah, October is going to be full of fuckery. Good fuckery. Good, good fuckery <clears throat> is what I'm seeing here. Okay. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life. But they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. That's exactly what I was telling you earlier. Let go of resentment. Free yourself from it. Don't be its little bitch. Be happy. Okay? All right, Gemini, this was your love and sex message. Please give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Love you guys so very much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.